nuclear prop! Now that I have graduated flight school, come with me as I continue training and fly to new places in the pursuit of fun and adventure. On the stall landings, I don't care uh, how long you stay on the ground. Just get it back on the center line if you're not there. Back straight. in the center line and hit the gas? Yep. On the wheel landings, I'd like to see if the tail come down. Alright. Controls. Why does that one feel? You get your foot on something? Uh, no, just because basically you won't be able to turn the tail wheel. Right. Ooh, it warmed up. Yes, it did. All right. Um, need to apply eyewear. I need to get some flying eyes. These things, I just realized how incredibly heavy they are. Hmm. And of course, you know, if all your YouTuber buddies are flying with flying eyes, then you got to do it too, right? All right. These guys up here a little bit. All right. Flight controls are free and correct. We're gonna uh, see here, check gases in both here. Throttle will be cracked a bit. We're going cold over here. Uh, mix control push in, it pops back out. We need to go strobes, nav, master, both mags. We need to have feet firmly on the brakes. Uh, I don't like a second and a half because it kind of flew not too long ago. Second and a half? Yeah. Home 1000, two 1000. And, and then I would start with the mixture all the way out and just slowly press it in as you're cranking that starter. Okay, here we go. Looking around for pets, people, armadillos. Clear prop! One, two, one, two, three, four. Loud and clear. Alright. And we have a slight bit of engine temperature. Yep, you're good enough to start taxiing. It's warm enough. Alright, and let me see here. We'll be taking off to the south. Taking off to the south. Yep. Alright. Get on the throttle. Crotch it.
here we go. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to do... Um, I'm... Say Peter Rabbit. Yep, uh, can I go first tonight, Peter Rabbit? Can I go first, Peter Rabbit? Tonight, Peter Rabbit. Tonight, Peter... God, I'm never going to remember that. <laughs> this is too weird. You know, it's like a children's fable. <laughs> oh, like, hey, Peter Rabbit, can I go first tonight? <laughs> right. All right, so we already did the, the controls yeah. are free and correct. Yep. We determined uh, that. Instruments. And instruments. I'd get that um, uh, ADIS set for McKinney. Let's see, ADIS, uh, McKinney is 1986? 1992. 1992. Like, April 26, 1992. It was a We're not going to hear it. We're not going to hear that until we get up in the air. Yep. Um, let's see, altimeters on, squawking 1,200. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here, fuel's in. Um, let's see, uh, airport altitude is 760. Uh-huh. Good there. Cool. Um, and uh, go is gas. Uh, gas, we're checking gas, we're half a tank both. All right, make sure it's good where it's at. Uh, first is flaps, then tonight is trim. So trim. Uh, Peter Rev is going to be your prop and your run up. All right, so, all right, we got that set. Trim, hopefully, will stay where it needs to stay this time and not migrate like it did when, this morning. All right, so let's uh, bring this bad boy up to 17. 15, 16, 17, holding the brakes. All right, uh, just one or just I do three? Uh, do one's fine. All right, one of those. And let's check, uh, check it right mag. Less than 175. Okay. That doesn't feel good. Yeah, but you're also staying with it shut off for a long time. Like, here, let me show you right quick. This is how I would check a mag. Because you'll know right away if it's bad. I wouldn't stay on it too long because you're fouling up the other spark plug. Oh, okay. Oh, just, people have been taxing it with it too rich, so the spark plug's getting fouled up. Oh. Like, if you had a bad mag, it would start going... Blah, 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 blah. Like, you would know instantaneously there's something wrong. Okay, cool. Less than 175. Sounds good. Feels good. All right, going to hot air. Uh -huh. RPM drop, back to cold. Uh, All right, and we're, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Whoa, <laughs> freaking! Screw <laughs> that mic on. Wow. Okay. How the hell did that come on time? I guess over time, people have just been unscrewing it. All right. Well, we went to idle. Yep. No issue there. All right. We're good. Yep. All right. Close the vent. anybody? I don't see anybody. Uh, make sure my radio's. That ought to be loud enough. All right. All right. Uh, Air Country Traffic in uh, 330, Mike Sierra, taking runway 17 for a VFR departure over to uh, McKinney. Air Country. Cool. Go for it. power.
Celsius. Dew point 1.8 Celsius. Altimeter 2.984. Remarks. Density altitude 2,400. McKinney National <laughs> Airport. Automated weather observation 1853. Zulu. Wind variable at 04. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 28 Celsius. Dew point 18 Celsius. Altimeter 2. Uh, 1882. Density altitude 2004. It's just an 8. This is frequency, but the 9s go to 8. Good afternoon, McKinney Towers. This is Decathlon 330 Mike Sierra. Chris coming out of Era Country. Uh, I'd like to come in for a couple of touch and goes. 330 Mike Sierra. Good afternoon, Decathlon 330 Mike Sierra, McKinney Tower. Proceed to about a two mile final for runway 18, wind 1903, altimeter 2983. Two mile final for runway 18, 330 Mike Sierra. Security Tower, thrust 426 is going to do a lap or two at the hold at bridge, and then we're going to self vector for the uh, VOR. Thrust 426, Roger, maintain VFR, and uh, report departing the hold for the VOR. Right, maintain VFR, report departing the hold, thrust I'd probably, he wants you on a two mile final, so I'd probably swing it out a little bit to the north. Oh, this is day 157, continuous flying days for me. Oh man, you, you, you need your two week vacation. Oh, I'm, I'm flying. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you're not instructing though, right? No. Okay. But I'm probably going to fly for a whole straight year. Oops, I'm taking the Cub out to California. Got on zero, Mike. So you can start in now. Traffic to follow is a uh, Cessna 150. They're on about a one mile left base. Your number two runway 18, clear touch and go, and then left close traffic. All right, we'll be looking for that Cessna, and we're clear runway 18, touch and go, and then we'll make left traffic. The Caplon 330, Mike Sierra. Like looking for a mosquito in a snowstorm. Right. All right, you gonna start with stall landings, you think, or what? Uh, yeah, let's try stall landing first. Yep. It's light variable, so you shouldn't have, you know, much of a crosswind or anything. It should be pretty easy. You know, getting twisted around here a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of thermal activity. He's over the approach lights. I can't see that. Oh, there he is. I got him. I got that traffic in sight. 330 Mike's here. Thank you. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our gumps. Gas is half on both. Undercarriage gear is down. Mix power. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back. Roll that in. All right. Powers, pitch power set. My trim so I don't do a nose dive. Uh, switches all look great. And straps and flaps. We're great. Just remember, go around isn't going to fail you or anything, you know? It's You're never wrong to go around. Yep, exactly.
And I have 7,000 and two feet. Yep, you're just getting low. You got all red lights on your Vazzy. I see them. Early, my runway 1 8, clear touch and go. Runway 1 8, clear touch and go. Runway 1 8, clear touch and go. Your student can do good today. Because yeah. you're a good instructor, Mateo. Thanks, man. I definitely will write you a letter of recommendation. Oh, thank you. fields today. Mike Sierra, the Cessna is in the left base ahead of you, number two, runway 18, clear, touch and go. All right, I see that Cessna up ahead of me. Uh, number two for touch and go, 330, Mike Sierra. All right, we can go ahead and uh, dumps. Gas is looking both on, or full half on both. Money carriage is down, uh, good to go. Mix. Roll this guy in. Uh, power set. Switches all look great. Straps and flaps. We're good to go. Henry, right cool. down on runway 18. Wind 0903, altimeter 2982. Right, 2982 and right uh, downwind for 18. Be aware, you're kind of low over here, so you might not want to pull back as much power. Or else I'll just put you low on, on the approach. I'm going to make a good stall pilot. <laughs> low and slow. I seem to do that a lot in this plane. Alright, another stalling. Another stall landing coming up. Senior six off goal for number two, well spaced, traffic's in a close in uh, left base to Cap on runway one eight, clear to land. Clear to land number two, senior nine six off go. Sustain 
eight nine or limit, just continue one mile up one before your left cross one. One mile up before cross one, three five eight nine or limit. Let's do one more like that. This is Nate. I need to start the left cross one. Thank you. Left cross one. Two five five nine zero. Cap on zero. Mike here. Just continue upwind until you see that Cessna. They're about a mile um, upwind. Now they're turning left cross one there. All right. I have that Cessna in sight. One uh, three two zero. Mike Sierra. McKinney Tower. Cherokee two eight one. Charlie Foxtrot. Cherokee 201, Charlie Fox, I'm McKinney Tower. Cherokee 1, Charlie Fox, we're about 10 to the southeast. Uh, I'd like to shoot a full uh, factor to uh, 18. Uh, Cherokee 281, Charlie Fox, trot. Roger, maintain BFR. Report the final approach fix inbound and certify your self vectoring, or are you going to do the uh, full procedure turn? Uh, we're going to do the full procedure turn. We'll call you a Zipic inbound, and uh, as after, we'd like to shoot the uh, full uh, approach. Cherokee 1, Charlie Fox, track. Roger. And for now, maintain BFR at or above 3,000. BFR at above 3,000, uh, Cherokee 1, Charlie Fox. Cherokee Tower, thrust 426, leaving uh, the hold that burned, and we'll be uh, self vectoring around for the VOR. Thrust 426, Roger. Maintain BFR, report final approach, fix inbound. BFR, Fort Vernon, inbound, thrust 426. Cessna 89, Lemur, number two, following a King Air, two mile right base, runway 18, clear, touch and go. Cap on zero, Mike, sir, follow the Cessna, number three, runway 18, clear, touch and go. All right, we'll follow the Cessna, we're number three for touch and go, 330, Mike, Sierra. Okay, there it is. Yeah, he's right on the horizon. Watch out, you're getting low out here. King Air 6 Alpha Golf, stay parking. Uh, head and chill with Hager, sir. King Air 6 Alpha Golf, roger, taxi to parking. Uh, one Bravo more stop. Four Alpha, have a good day. Time to do a little, a little, little, little slow flight. Really. To... Good day. Yeah. We're still going to be turning over 380, it looks like. All right, do, do gumps, yeah. gas, is ha half a tank on both, uncarried gears down, mix, we'll go ahead and back this down, roll in the prop, all right. mix power, pitch power set, switches all look great, straps and flaps are ready to land. Cool. Cherokee, 
Cherokee, one Charlie Fox, altitude your discretion now, thank you. Altitude our discretion, one Charlie Fox. Speed, you're going a little fast. I see that. Do some wheel landings. All right, here we go. If you do an approach just like you did on that one, just bump in a little bit of power, you're shallow enough to where it should be easy. Well, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Yep. Niner Lima, Roger, runway 18, clear to land. Clear to land. You still got that south land side? I'm looking. Where the hell did he go? I'd slow it down, just because we're going to overrun up in general. Cap on zero, Mike Sierra, number two, runway one eight, clear, touch and go. All right, number two for touch and go, three three zero, Mike Sierra. I don't know if he was coming back around for touch and go, if he just, oh, there he is, right in front of us. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Gumps, gas, we got plenty, or half in each tank, undercarriage is gears down, mix and power, we're going to roll the prop in. And switches, all look great, straps and flaps, checklist right. complete. Cool. And we're coming in for a wheel landing this right, time.
8 9 Arlena, turn right on Bravo 2. And are you going to park in order to the runway? To park. Cessna 8 9 Arlena, roger. Taxi via Bravo 2 to the ramp. Have a great day. Up to you. Please, okay, I'm going You don't want to push it down onto the ground. I'm holding you from pushing. Oh, if you push anymore, you're going to prop strike. The nose is good where it's at. You just want to hold everything. power. So what you could have done is just brought the power back a millimeter and that would have settled you onto the ground. You don't want to be pushing it forward prior to the wheels touching. Well, I thought, I'll still accept it. Okay, so I thought you were telling me we're on a wheel landing at the very end just to, just a bitch power, just a mosquito wing of power. Yep. But 110. Well, 100. I was just saying, excessive airspeed isn't going to be as detrimental as a stall landing. But you were here and you like push the stick down. You don't want to do that. Right. You right. just want to keep the same attitude you had. Just reduce a little bit of power and I'll put you down flat. Roger that. Like Roger I said, that. I'll accept it. You landed it, so it's fine. Just don't be pushing the stick forward. Right traffic. I don't know if that was for us. Just wait. He'll say it again if it is. Kathleen, zero make sure make right traffic runway one eight. Uh, 330 Mike's here. Did you say Mike right traffic? Yeah. Affirmative uh, right traffic, runway 18. 330 Mike's here, making right traffic for runway 18. That's 426, clear to inbound. That's 426, how to approach terminate. I like to circle and do a touch and go and then uh, back to Addison. And then once you had a pin at the initial part of the pinning, you were pushing a little bit too much. Roger, keep the speed up as long as possible inside of ILS traffic. Um, All right, we'll uh, keep speed up as much practice as we're You were just pushing the stick. You were wanting to put the Second nose lower than where we wanted. Well, I was trying to keep the cowling. I was looking for level. Yeah. And I just didn't know how. I, I guess once I have level, I just pulled level. Yeah. 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 Niner zero six Julian Romeo McKinney Tower, make straight in runway one eight. Okay, we'll make straight in one eight. Nine zero six Romeo. The cap on zero Mike zero. Once you reach midfield, just make one left three sixty. Have a couple instrument approaches, and you'll be behind them. Okay. Uh, as soon as I pass the tower, I'll do a left three sixty. Three three zero zero. The half from three three zero Mike zero. Thank you. Just four twenty six runway one eight. Clear for the option, and then off to the option on course to prove Addison. I want to clear for the option, and after that, back to Addison throws 426. And Cherokee 1, Charlie Fox, tip back inbound. Cherokee 1, Charlie Fox, try how approach terminate. Uh, we'd like to uh, do a low approach and do the published miss to uh, bridge if we could. Cherokee 1, Charlie Fox, Roger, your number 2, runway 18, uh, one cleared for the option. Number 2, cleared the option, 18, one Charlie Fox. Cherokee 1, Charlie Fox, you can resume uh, speed your discussion, thank you. Okay, normal speed, one Charlie Fox.
Kathy Lawson, Zero Mike, Zero Traffic's a Cherokee one and a half mile final. You'll be number two behind them, runway one eight, clear touch and go. All right, we're looking for the Cherokee from 330 Mike Sierra. He's about to cross over 380. He's no, he's no factor. There he is. I have that traffic in sight. 330 Mike Sierra. Thank you. Gas tanks on half on carriage gears down mix. Power. Back this off. Screw that in. Go around. Just realize you're about 300. Check one. Charlie Fox, Roger. Go around. Power. 426 contact. Regional approach. 124.3. All the great straps and flaps are ready to land. Thanks for your help. Uh, 6 Juliet Romeo, runway 18, clear touch and go after the touch and go, make left close traffic. Runway 18, clear touch and go after the touch and go, left close traffic, 6 Juliet Romeo. Here we go. All right. do one more on that one. You kind of added power a little late and you added a little bit too much. That's why we came back up. I would add a little bit less power than you added and a little bit sooner in the round out. Okay. But still counting. So one more. Um, wait to tell them that we're going back to Aero Country in case you have to do a go around or something, you know? Okay. You can just tell them after we depart since it's not very busy anyway. Yeah, on zero mics here. Make left traffic. Three right. mics zero. Making left traffic.
see other aircraft. Uh, yeah, it says nice oh, there he is, right there. All right. Yep. Um, okay, tower 320, Mark Sierra, are we clear to land? Yeah, Palm Zero, Mike Sierra, runway 18, clear, touch and go. 18, clear, touch and go, 320, Mike Sierra. All right, gas is on, uh, gas is good on both. Undercarriage gear is down. Cherokee, one, five, Fox. We'd like to do a one turn and bridge and then set up for the VOR Alpha. Bob uh, going in. The circle right. and touch and go. Pitches, all look great. Right. Straps, Straps and flaps, look yeah. good. Uh, Middle land. Departing the uh, hold for the VOR. Reports uh, departing the hold for the VOR. Cherokee, one, five, Fox. So this time, shoot and hit that runway at 100 on the dot. Yep. And just and as just you round out, add a little bit of power beforehand. You kind of round it out, wait a second, then add a little bit too much power, which like raised you back up, and then you kind of manhandled it back onto the runway. Here, you're a little bit lower, which is fine, because it's going to put you at a flatter approach to begin with, which will be easier for you, you know? Exactly. So you're not dive bombing. Romeo, runway 18, clear, touch and go. 18, clear, touch and go, 6 0 Romeo. Alright, stop flying. All right, man. Oh, that was beautiful. We just need one. I, I would suggest a stall landing back at Mc uh, Arrow Country, but you can do whatever you want. And power zero, Mike Sarah. We'll be going back to Arrow Country. Cap on zero, Mike Sarah. Roger, right turn out approved. Once you do that right turn, you can just pick up that antenna, which will kind of set you up on a 45 to that left down one. Roger that. You're just one stall landing away from your endorsement. One stall? Yep. I thought I needed three of each. Yep, you did three. I did three stalls and three wheels. Yep. I mean, we got to get back home, right? Oh, well, there's that. I'm not landing us. Oh. Yep, it's always three wheel, three stalls and getting us back home. That's <laughs> dealer's choice. You can do whatever kind of landing you want. But I would recommend a solid. Roger. Okay, on zero, Mike Sierra. One aircraft in the pattern at Aero Country. Change your advisor for you to have a great day. Hey, I appreciate all the help, and you have a great day as well. Wolf Pilot 330, Mike Sierra, off to Aero Country. You can put us on Arrow Country's frequency. Weather observation. Oops. By 122.9. Boom. Oops, not that gonna work. By that, that worked. Cool. Nice 
wheel landing. Oh, hey, thank you. Air country traffic, Decathlon 330 Mike Sierra, about six, five miles to the east, coming in for a left downwind runway 18, Air country. Traffic to Cap 1330, Mike Sierra, three miles to the southeast, coming in for a full stop. Runway 18, uh, entering left for, or leave me, left down for runway 18, Air Country. Cap go State 13 is circling over the field, 3,200. Uh, simulated engine out for runway 18, Honey. Country traffic to Cathlon 330, Mike Sierra, entering left downwind for a full runway 18 full stop, Aero Country. Gas tank's half full, undercarriage gear's down. Go ahead and put in the prop. Prop power set. Straps, uh, switches all look good. Straps and flaps. Landing checklist complete. And let's figure out where I want to be here. Over these tanks. Decathlon 33, Air Country Traffic Decathlon 330, Mike Sierra, making left uh, left base to final, short final for runway 18, Air Country. And it's traffic 701 is on the D-State, jumpers over the field, use crossing and it's traffic, use 
crossing end of traffic. You're going to do a stall or a wheel? I think I'm going to do a stall. Okay, cool. You can land in the grass. If I get my nose down right here at the trees to fight the rotors. Get your nose. Watch it. Cool. Good job, man. Oh, look at me holding center line like I just knew what the hell I was doing. Uh, a little bit of break to start slowing it down. A little bit more break. Deep's not. No. Yeah, I was just getting get in her line so you got a little bit sideways. Just a little bit. Well, I'm going to the grass. Alright, I'll go ahead and grab it. You can turn the radio and transponder off. Alright, radio going off. Transponder going off. Window coming up. Tell me when you want to kill it. Uh, you can kill it. All right, man. Yeah, your endorsement. Oh. Did my headset go off? I think my headset Toasty. was off. Toasty. Oh all my right. God! All you switches are off. Okay, we can do all your cameras and stuff. I'm gonna start the paperwork. It's your logbook in there. No, I need to hand it to you. Okay. Woo! Good job, man. <laughs> it's runway 17 at Air. Oh, shit. God, you know, it gets switched. You know, runway 18 here, Erica there, they're all kind of north. Yeah. I mean, we're talking uh, 10 uh, degrees, right? Yeah, what, what's 10 degrees between friends? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and the best, the last landing was best, so I ended at a high spot. You love the plane? Come here. You want to get in the plane? Yeah. There you go. Just put your foot there. There you go. Got it? Just put your butt right there. I'm in the plane. It's only got two seats, Emerson. So as soon as... <laughs> so here you go. Photo op. There you go. Cheese. There you go. There's your, there's your control stick. <laughs> hey, Landon, I want to go fly. You want to go fly? Yeah. Well, we can't go fly today because someone else needs to use this airplane. What? Like my purple hair. Well, it's all the purple's going away. Yeah. Oh. All right. The awning is kind of a two-person setup job. It was a pain in the ass to do one person because you do one side and the other side trying to flop down. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like instant email notifications of channel updates, please find the link in the description below.